Hey guys, welcome back to Biscuits Told to War. This is Biscuits giving you another online commentary for Rome Told to War. And in today's episode, potentially we've got a record here. This is the fastest time that I have seen for one versus one mass route Germany versus Rome. Now the rules are really simple on this. What I'm trying to do, I'm trying to get the fastest mass route in a one versus one 31k scenario. The rules are really simple. One player has got to bring Germany and the other player's got to bring Rome. Both players must be fairly decent at 31k. We're looking for guys that know how to play the game opposed to a professional player versus potentially somebody who's brand new. Secondly, we're looking for good standard builds. In other words, when Rome uh, brings their army, it's something like 6 Praetorian Cav, 14 Urbans, give or take, something like that. You know, if they bring a bunch of Triarii, Hestati, Peasants, you know, that's not going to count because that's not a good standard 31k build. We want to see exactly what can Germany do when they're put in a situation in a one versus one. Now, we all know Germany is a mass route army. It's all about getting in there fast, quick and destroying the enemy. So what we want to see is how quickly can somebody possibly do this. Now, last week I put up a video and we had a time. That time was about three minutes, I believe, pretty much spot on. This one is going to be slightly less than that. And I'll go through the commentary and I'll let you uh, see exactly what armies these guys have built. Now, this is actually a three-player game. There's actually somebody spectating this. So that could slightly affect the actual results of the actual time. Because I didn't know watch this, I don't know what happened. Sometimes if this player doesn't admit defeat or this player just basically sits there for a while, that could actually add on a few extra seconds to the replay. So we need to bear that in mind uh, when we actually watch this because it actually might be slightly faster in reality if that player wasn't actually there spectating this battle. So uh, the players that we've got today, we've got Hannibal. And we've got Benz. Now, Hannibal, uh, he has bought six cav, and these cav are uh, what they called their Gothic cavalry, which is fairly standard. An archer, which is really good to see because an archer will help lower the morale of the enemy, especially if you go into flame attack. He has bought a Screeching Woman. Now, it's going to be interesting because the Screeching Women, these units will actually boost your morale for the Germans and also have a detrimental effect on the enemy. But I don't know if they're going to be really that handy, especially in this quick rush build. Now, he's also got three Berserkers. These three Berserkers, these are going to be absolutely devastating. And three Night Raiders. Now, the Night Raiders aren't amazing in a one-to-one -one melee, but what they will do, they will intimidate the enemy. So the enemy get near to them, they will actually start to fear them. If they fear them, the morale will drop, make it much easier for that snap mass route. And then the rest we've got are chosen axemen. And these chosen axemen have got these huge big axes in their hands. These axes are armor piercing. What that basically means in plain English, uh, the urban cohort defense stat is something like, I don't know, I think it's 24. If you use a weapon that gives you an armored piercing ability, it will automatically half that defense stat, making it much easier for these guys to chew through them. Let's have a quick little glance at the, the Skippy I build. Now the Skippy I build has gone for one legionary first cohort, 13 urbans and 6 Praetorian cav. Now what I'm going to do, I'm going to start the recording and I'm actually going to start the actual timing from this stage. What had actually happened is, before I'd started this recording, uh, Bend unfortunately hadn't put his units into a formation. So Hannibal stood still and waited for him to get into formation. Now what I'm going to do, I'm actually going to start the timer from literally the moment Hannibal starts to move. And literally, as you can just see here, all his units are standing still, but I click, quickly clicked pause just before these archers could move. So let's see exactly what goes on. So I'm going to go play and one, two, three, play and start on the stopwatch. So you can see they're moving forward, aggressively pushing forward. Now bear in mind, Hannibal was actually doing this. He didn't know who's going to be timed and he didn't know who was trying to go for a record. So potentially, now knowing this, they could actually get quicker, faster times, who knows. And if you think you can beat this, go and try it. Give it a go. Let me know what the time results are and send me the replay. So really nice move here from Hannibal. What he's doing here uh, is almost using a bull formation tactic. What I mean by that, he's got one wing here, one wing here, and the main bulk in the center here. Now we slightly off time this charge here. 
ideally what should have happened all of these units should be attacking at the same time because of that Ben has been able to go in with a nice counter charge of his cav cause this wing to break and he's also managed to get his cav around the back here now what's going to happen now in comes all of the units here all of the German units they're charging straight through as you can see Ben has put his units into Testudo and that's to try and help anchor and keep the unit standing still and also what he can try and do is trap some of these German units but what's going to happen he's managed to push his cab right through but um, the Germans have gone right through they cut straight through the unit the archer unit here in the back is focus firing all on this legionary first cohort because that legionary first cohort is going to boost them around and bang there we go I think that's look if you look here all of the G Romans have now been routed but what's happened is now we can see the Spanish unit has now emitted defeat. So that's a tricky one. It's really, really tricky. I don't know when to stop the recording and when to actually call it a, a stop. But what I've done, I've decided to stop that recording the minute all of those Skippy I units mass routed. And that to me came up at 1 minute 27 seconds. So guys, bear that in mind. 1 minute 27 seconds to mass route an entire 31k unit army of Romans so that is six Praetorian Cav practically 13 Urbans and one legionary first cohort you know those builds are what are known as sometimes OP builds compared to a lot of CWB players it's going to be pretty hard to beat that time but I'm pretty sure if there's somebody out there that can do that I'm sure it can be done we saw Hannibal made a few little mistakes there and he could have charged in a bit quicker he might be able to defend that wing a bit better so I'm sure we can shave time off that I'm sure we can get that down. Let's try and get it down to 1 minute 15 seconds. You know, Beast, if you're watching this, Diomedes, Cleomedes, any of those 31k players, uh, Hades, Mohammed, Elite, Thor, you know, go and give this a try. I want to see if anybody can beat this. And if anybody can beat this, again, there's going to be a prize if we can try and get the best, best time. It'd be amazing if we can try and beat the 1 minute mark. It's going to be tricky, it's going to be hard, but I don't want any cheating. I'm sure we can do this. Let me know what your thoughts are. And guys, leave a little comment. Leave a little thumbs up if you enjoy this type of video. Again, it's a bit of entertainment. And we'll see exactly how fast we can get a mass route going with Germany. Anyway, guys, thanks for watching. Thanks for your support. And I'll catch you soon for the next episode. Bye now.